let's take you through a few of the core apps on Ice Cream Sandwich. We're going to begin with the stock internet browser, which offers faster rendering times and adds a whole bunch of features like offline reading. Now this is something that may be familiar to you if you've ever used Instapaper, where you can save sites to read whenever you have poor or no data connection. Now you can also go into incognito mode, which is handy when you don't want to show your browsing history. It also offers the ability to sync bookmarks with your desktop via Chrome browser, and there's plenty of accessibility options such as larger fonts and inverted screen rendering. And you also can take a look at the desktop version of each site you visit rather than dealing with compressed mobile sites. Additionally, there's an optional labs feature that brings up a three-button semicircular menu that can be accessed by swiping your finger from the left or right edge of the screen. What this menu does is it lets you choose to enter a new URL, go straight into settings, or you can go to your tabs view. Moving on to the calendar, the biggest enhancement is the inclusion of Pinch to Zoom. This is a feature largely borrowed from WebOS that allows you to expand and contract your appointments to a size that suits your own personal preference. Multiple calendars can be color coded so you know which one is which, and you're easily able to flip between the day, week, month, and agenda views. The Gmail app made some significant leaps and bounds in the move to Ice Cream Sandwich. In the inbox, you'll see an extra line of text for each email, which now shows off the first few words in addition to the subject and the sender. When viewing the individual message, you're given a fresh new user interface with all of your options rearranged in a more logical way. You can archive or delete the message, mark it as important or unread. You can move it into another label, or you can even swipe left or right to move along to the next email thread. You can now also store your Gmail offline as well. The default history is set to 30 days, but you can choose a customizable period of time if you prefer. Sadly, there was no pinch to zoom in Gmail as we saw on the calendar, but overall this was an incredibly enjoyable emailing experience for us.